Hello, everybody. My name is Shaz. Welcome to this video. We're going to talk about three industries that will be utilizing AI the most in 2024. Now, why this is so important is to position yourself as business owners in a place where you could leverage this technology and see what the big players in the game are doing, the multi-billion dollar companies, how they're using AI and how they are dominating their industry with this new technology and how you could do the same. So we're going to look at trends within these three industries about AI and how it will really grow over this upcoming year, 2024. It's going to be massive. I can't wait to break it down. Let's hop right into it. And when I mention AI will transform these industries, what I mean is using AI, you could go from a house to a mansion, meaning there's accelerated growth going on if you leverage this technology. Now, I'm going to show you what the big companies are doing, and I'm going to give you 10 plus examples of companies using AI within their day to day. This does not mean you guys can't do the same. I want you guys as business owners to think about this new technology, take these ideas and put them in your own business. So you could go from a house to a mansion within your own business, within your own company, within your own agency. All right. So I may only be talking about these big companies and these industries, but this very much much applies to your business as well. AI is the future. And I want you to leverage it inside your business to grow and hit that next level and to achieve that growth. All right, so let's get into it. And I'm going to read you this statistic really quickly. 92% of Fortune 500 companies are using OpenAI within their business. Now, this is good or bad, depending on who you are. If you're very interested and bullish and ready to adapt this technology, you will go places and AI will take you there. I'm telling you. But if you are scared of this technology, if you're going to ignore it, and if you're just going to put it to the side, this might crush your business, guys, because people will use it in your industry to get ahead. And if you don't do the same, I can't tell what that means for you. So please do pay attention to these AI use cases and try to put them into your business. At least try to learn and stay up to date with these topics. So with that being said, take these AI use cases that I am about to go over within these industries and try to formulate different ways that you could use these use cases as inspiration for AI within your daily life or within your company. And my outlook on AI and what I'm about to get into is from talking to a lot of different AI professionals and some of them even paying me thousands of dollars to go ahead and implement AI and automation solutions into their business. So I do have an idea of what I'm talking about, but again, you Use these points that I'm talking about to go do further research and then adapt these ideas to your own business. And of course, I will help you do that in a second. And this is what I mean. If you actually need help formulating those ideas to put AI and automation into your business to make money, save time, whatever the case may be for you, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. I've answered thousands of questions and I will definitely answer yours or consume some more free content here on my YouTube channel and make sure to hit the bell for when I post videos. So on this channel, we talk about AI and automation a lot. And today we will be strictly talking about AI. I'm going to be talking about an AI AI system a lot. Uh, and this is sort of a definition of that. An AI system is like a smart assistant that learns and makes decisions. It could think learn and sort of problem solve like a human being can. Now, a very classic example of an AI system or an AI assistant is one that learns what your customers like and then create ad creatives around what your customers like. So essentially, you could have an AI create ads for you that knows what your customer and your audience likes that will better target those people and make money for your business. So that's just an example of what an AI system is um, for your understanding. So first, we're going to talk about AI in the healthcare industry. This is probably the biggest AI use case within the whole world right now, in my opinion. And I want to give you guys definitions right before we get into it. So again, as you guys start to lean into the world of AI, you can know what these things are because people will be throwing around terminology. And I want you guys to have an understanding of what that means. Machine learning or ML for short is a branch of AI where computers learn from data to increase their performance. So you can give an AI a lot of data and it will learn from it and the machine will learn, hence machine learning. All right. Now on the right, we have natural language processing or NLP. This is where technology is enabled to understand and process human language. All right. Now, there are whole PhD papers and dissertations wrote on ML and NLP. There's so much out there. These are very, very simple definitions. But again, as you guys sort of learn to understand AI more, these terms will come up quite a bit. So definitely make sure you have these in your vocabulary as we move on. So the overall use cases for healthcare and AI in healthcare goes as following. AI will help manage unstructured data and various formats throughout the healthcare industry. And also, and I think more importantly, AI will help medical professionals give more accurate and efficient diagnostics and treatments to their patients. This is massive. So just by me reading that overall use case, I hope you could see how beneficial this is to the healthcare industry. Every single one of us will die one day. That's just a reality of it. Some want to prolong their lives. So healthcare is needed for almost every single human being out there. And if we could have more accurate diagnoses and treatments for diseases and illnesses, that is huge. And AI could do so. Why? Because of data. 
If you have data, millions and millions and billions of points of data, you can throw that into an algorithm that will accurately spit out specifics that doctors then use to help out their patients. So this is not exactly about replacing doctors, but giving doctors and equipping them with the necessary tools they need to do their job better and save more lives. So this is a massive use case. And this is just my prediction, but over this next year, I truly believe the big tech companies like the Apples, the Amazons, the Googles will all have their own sub-sector of AI healthcare. I truly think so because, again, it's such a huge topic and there's billions to be made here and there's a lot of human lives, more importantly, to save. And these are more specific use cases with AI and healthcare. First is sort of what we were talking about already. You have a lot of clinical data from patients, so this data could be helped in making decisions. So a clinical decision tool could be a very big use case in the healthcare space. And next we have AI helping with diagnostics and imaging uh, within healthcare. This one's really big as well because you could take now images and have AI sort of help you formulate the next move. So radiologists use these tools and use these pictures and clinical decisions. And there's over 400 FDA approved AI algorithms. That is massive, guys. That means these AI algorithms are working effectively, right? There are just one or two. Yeah, that's cool. There's 400 FDA approved algorithms out there in AI helping people in healthcare already. So the tech is already being integrated into the healthcare space. It's only going to get more crazy over the next year. And another AI outcome in healthcare is patient safety, meaning AI systems are evaluating data to basically help people optimize their health and improve people's safety, which is a really big use case. And finally, AI will help in public health management. And this is where AI algorithms will help monitor the breakout of diseases and infectious diseases like what we had a few years ago here. I'm um, also analyzing data to help the public with health policies and keeping them up to date with what's in their area and how to protect yourself uh, and keep the public healthy. And if any of you guys actually own your own medical practice, I made this video months ago and it's pretty relevant now. So go ahead and check that out if you have to. It's a few AI solutions for your medical practice, dentists, doctors, whatever you are. Go ahead there. And here's some real world business examples of AI being used in healthcare already. First, we have Amazon HealthLake, which is using searching and querying and some AI to actually use unstructured healthcare data that would otherwise be sort of hard to implement. Unstructured data is sort of a pain because again, it's not structured to the parameters that these people need it to be. Um, so structuring them with AI and search and query and all that stuff is really helping specifically this company make use of AI within healthcare. And finally, this one is really cool. The Renal Research Institute is employing machine learning. Again, we learned about that earlier and diagnosing and managing kidney disease and predicting patient's outcomes. So a patient could come to them with X, Y, and Z health factors, and they could screen them and say, hey, you have X, Y, Z risk of kidney disease or some other illness. This is massive, guys. And I'm actually in talks with a clinic right now, and we might develop an app for something similar, but for a whole different illness. So I'll keep you guys tuned on that. The AI healthcare space is growing, and I'm definitely going to be a part of it. And mentioning that, if you guys have any businesses in the healthcare space or any space in general and are looking to use AI, I have a lot of free resources for you guys to take advantage of. The best one is the free AI audit with myself. We'll sit down for 15 to 20 minutes and go through every single AI and automation use case you could use to take your business to the next level of profitability or just save you time as a business owner. Or if you're too busy, just DM me 100 on Instagram and I'll send you over a 100 second AI assessment. We'll just fill out a few questions and I'll email you back five AI and automation use cases you could use within your business. These are some great free resources to get started with AI and automation and leveraging this technology. Do not get left behind. These are free for now, so definitely use them. They'll be in the description. Now we're going to talk about AI and finance. So the largest use case for AI and finance is going over algorithms that utilize AI to predict risk, to predict fraud protection, and trading. Also, enhancing customer support. I really want to emphasize enhancing customer support because if you've ever been in talks with a large financial institution about some money that's gone wrong or your bank account's frozen, it's hard to get in contact with them. So this is going to be a game changer, and the same goes for fraud prevention. No one wants fraud on their account, so to have some algorithms that use AI in place will be massive. And just a quick note on AI and finance, algorithms are nothing new. Hedge funds have been using AI algorithms for decades now, right? We're just getting access to this technology, but if you wonder why these hedge funds and these big banks have all the best trades, it's because they have the algorithms already and they've been utilizing them for a long, long time. So that's how they work and that's how powerful these AI algorithms actually are. So again, the specific use cases here are fraud detection and risk management, algorithmic trading, and and customer service. Customer service is pretty self-explanatory. Chatbots and virtual assistants will be able to walk you through how to actually go through a financial institution and fix the problem that is going wrong or get support based on 
what you need. Fraud detection is huge as AI systems can detect patterns of fraud and then close your account on your behalf. So you don't get finessed out of money from bad actors or viruses and stuff like that. I think fraud detection using AI is a massive use case within the finance industry. And then finally, as I was talking about earlier, algorithmic trading has been happening for decades now. It's just going to get better as AI gets better. And here's some real life business examples. JP Morgan Chase uses AI for algorithmic trading and market analysis as a lot of other big hedge funds do. Visa and MasterCard, the huge companies that do credit, are incorporating AI in their fraud detection systems, which I again think is massive for finance and a much needed improvement for these financial institutions. Finally, we have Goldman Sachs using AI to automate various financial processes to basically reduce human error. This is more of an automation and AI use case. Automation is very important as well. I'll be making a video on that next. So hit the subscription bell on my video and on my channel to stay updated. That's going to be a very good video. But you can see the biggest institutions in the finance market in the world, billions, trillions of dollars being poured into AI research. So you have to look into this for yourself and for your own company. All right. And finally, we have AI and transportation. So the overall use cases here are obviously self-driving cars and the transformation of the transportation industry as a whole, which is self-driving cars, Tesla, stuff like that. But on the other end, you have logistics. So I live in one of the biggest cities of America, and I could tell you firsthand that traffic is crazy. And people underestimate how much logistics actually goes into planning out a city. AI could really help with this, right? Because there are people, there are pedestrians that have to be safe. You need bike lanes, you need cars, you need highways, you need roads, you need stoplights and stop signs. There's a lot that goes into it, and it's hard to plan out a city. AI could help with this in the future and help stop people from dying, driving, riding bikes, walking, because it's just an avoidable thing at this point. AI will help reduce those deaths. So the specific use cases here are obviously of autonomous vehicles and self-driving cars or drones that use AI for real-time decision-making. Basically, they will steer for you, drive for you, slow down for you, and all other types of stuff. And I think this is really slept on right here, traffic management and logistics. I think there's a lot of money and potential to be made with optimizing cities sort of layouts and helping people get from point A to point B in the most efficient manner without the risk of harming someone or harming themselves. So AI optimizes routes and improves efficiency and logistics and traffic systems. I think that's a really awesome use case to definitely look into. And some specific business examples here are UPS and FedEx. They're implementing AI for route optimization. This will save them a lot of money, guys. If they could cut five minutes from each single truck that they own across the country, they will cut millions of dollars in expenses through salary and other stuff. So there's a big use case for logistics uh, and AI within logistics and within transportation as a whole. And also we have Tesla and Waymo. These guys are the forefront companies in developing AI powered autonomous vehicles. Obviously everyone knows Elon Musk is on top of this technology and sort of developing the Tesla. So self-driving cars are definitely uh, in the future for us. I don't know when, but they'll definitely be here. So those are the three AI industries. Comment down below right now if you made it to this point in the video. You are a legend. Let me know which is your favorite one and which your favorite use case is. I really like AI and healthcare, honestly. I think it's the biggest one, but we went over healthcare, finance, and transportation in this video. Again, comment your favorite one. I would love to know. And this is to remind you guys that AI and automation is here. Again, 92% of Fortune 500 companies are using AI to get to that next level. You have to pay attention and do not wait take action on this stuff, guys. You are still early. You can still get that leg up. You can still beat your competition with AI, but not for long. I'm telling you guys, I talk to these business owners. They're starting to wake up to this stuff. You have to make your move with AI. You don't have that much long before your early advantage goes away. And in that spirit, if you guys want my help, I offer so many free resources. These will not be free forever. Please do take advantage of them. Free AI audit call with me. We'll go over all the AI and automation use cases within your business to help you get to that next level. If you're too busy, the holidays are coming up. I totally understand. DM me 100 on Instagram and I'll send you over a 100 second AI assessment. Basically, you'll answer some questions and I'll send you back an email with five personalized AI automation recommendations that you could use in your business. And if you don't want to do either of those, just DM me on Instagram. I've answered thousands of questions and I would love to meet you. Just introduce yourself, what you do and how you want to use AI. And I'll give you my two cents on that or subscribe for more free information here. And again, if you have made it to this point in the video, you get to choose what is next. Comment down below next. If you made it to this point in the video, you are an absolute legend. You are doing what it takes to actually stay ahead of this technology. You're going to make it. You just have to implement this technology and take action outside of these videos. So get off of YouTube, go learn more about AI, go implement it into your business and go from there. I will see you on the AI audit call. DM me on Instagram. I hope I see you there. Or if nothing else, I will see you in my next video. Have yourself a great day.